If you're interested in making a custom banner for your Brightspace course and don't know exactly how to go about doing that, stick around and I've got some tips. Now working with banners in Brightspace is actually a really easy process. It's usually a matter of just clicking a couple buttons. And Brightspace actually comes with a lot of really wonderful photos that you could use as your banner image and changing them is you know, a piece of cake. But some people are interested in having their own custom banner. So what I want to do today is just walk you through the process of how you might go ahead and build yourself a banner, save it, and then import it into Brightspace. It's actually not that difficult to do either. So let's take a look. Now here is a shell from Brightspace and at the top you can see the actual banner image that's basically the default banner for this course. And once I hover over that image you'll see these three dots appear in the corner which are the banner settings. We're going to just go ahead and click on that to show you how this works. Um, I can change the image, I can customize the banner text, or I can remove it altogether. Changing the banner text is actually pretty simple. Um, let's actually start with that because that's very, very straightforward. Uh, the banner text is HUM 115 Critical Thinking Model B. Uh, I'm just going to remove the Model B just to keep it really, really simple. Um, let's just call this uh, the test model. For the process so they don't have anything uh, too confusing and of course i want this to be a custom so i'm going to leave that button checked and i'm going to save it and boom automatically there you go it's changed so that's you know pretty intuitive i don't think you really need a guide to uh, help you do that same thing when you want to just simply change the image using one of the built-in images if i go to ch uh, change image it's going to bring up a whole selection of really like i said beautiful visuals uh, scenes from nature and such so i'm just going to go ahead and let's just pick this one right here and there it is piece of cake but what if you want your own custom banner that you've designed yourself something personalized I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can do that we're gonna start by opening up PowerPoint a lot of people don't realize that PowerPoint is a wonderful tool for making banners and let me just walk you through the process of how that's done the first thing you're gonna do and this has already been set up so it's gonna save a little bit of time but the first thing you're gonna do is go over to your design tab at the top once you click on design you're gonna go ahead and slide all the way down to where it says slide size and instead of the standard or the widescreen format that you're usually used to when you're putting together a PowerPoint presentation go down to custom slide size open that up and there would be uh, different sli uh, slide sizes that you could look for okay including one that says banner I tend to just use custom because I know the proportions that I generally want because one thing you want to be wary of is if your banner is too long, if it's too small file size. So let's come back over to Brightspace really quickly and I'll show you what will happen if you choose to make a banner that's the wrong file size, if the image is a little bit too low resolution. I'm going to go ahead and click on the three dots in the banner setting. I'm going to hit change image, go back into now where it says upload at the top, and I'm going to upload a file from my computer. Now, once I click on upload, I'm going to go ahead and find the file that I want. And for now, I'm going to pick uh, this particular image that I used for a different course. I'm just going to click on that. It's going to add the banner up there. I'm going to hit add, and immediately it's going to set up that banner. And notice, Part of the banner is cut off in the front. The image, very, very low resolution. As a matter of fact, the text that's on the screen is actually kind of blurry as well. It's because the file size it was too small. It's because the banner itself had the wrong proportion. So it's very important that you set things up right from the start. So when you go again into PowerPoint, I'm just gonna make my banner width about 15 inches by three inches in height. Now, there are other proportions you could play with. I just happen to know that that's going to work fine for me. I want the landscape format um, for the slide. Uh, really, everything is set to go. I'm just going to click OK, and this is what I have. Now, as far as my design for the actual slide, I could do all kinds of different things. I could pick um, any kind of color scheme or background that I want, basically off of the default designs that are already right there in PowerPoint. Uh, there's a whole bunch to choose from. Let's just randomly pick one. It doesn't really matter what we're using. Of course, it's still going to want to pick something that I'm going to like. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to go with this one. 
because the colors are pretty simple, the text is pretty simple. Um, and I can modify the text however I like. I'm gonna kind of move things a little bit towards the center so that I make sure nothing gets cut off. That's always a good idea. And let's just, again, just call this HUM115. Uh, critical thinking, which looks fine. Now you could pick whatever font you want. You could do all kinds of different things. And um, I'll just say, well, oops. Welcome to the course. Now, I probably want to add a little bit of an image. You know, we could do that just to personalize it. And of course, I'm going to go with my old standby. Let's go to insert pictures and this device. I'll go ahead with a simple Batman symbol because when you think of critical thinking, there's probably no greater critical thinker than Batman. So let's just put him over here. Um, move the text a little bit down and make that image a little larger. Like I said, I'm just throwing this together really quickly. Um, let's just say I'm satisfied right now. That's the banner that I wanna use. The size is exactly like I want it. I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna save the file. Go up to File, go down to Save As. Make sure you're gonna save it in the right place. Um, I'm gonna keep the name Banner. I've already got it set up. It's gonna be saved in uh, my right folder, but instead of saving it as a PowerPoint presentation, it's going to hit that drop down menu. I'm going to go down and save it as either a JPEG file or a PNG file. Either one of those will be fine. I'm just going to save it as a JPEG file right now. Hit save. It's going to ask me if I want to replace the existing file because, like I said, I've already saved it once, so I'm going to say OK. And which slide do you want to export? I'm going to say just this one. It's only one slide in there, so that's the one I need. I'm going to go ahead and close that down, go back over to Brightspace, and now I'm going to change the banner. Go up to the top, hit the three dots, the banner settings, go into change image, come up to upload, and then I'm going to go to my computer, hit the upload button, and I'm going to find that banner, select it, open it. Once it's there, I'm going to hit add, and ready to go. It's perfectly proportioned. I'm not cutting off anything on the top bottom or sides. Um, you can't see a little bit of the wording because I've got this built-in wording right there. And again, I could edit that by simply going down to customize banner text, which I'm not going to really worry about right now. I could remove the whole thing if I wanted um, and just see what I've you know, built into my personalized banner. Now that's one way to do it. There's actually other ways that you can do this and if you don't want to go through the hassle of working with something like PowerPoint to create your banners, you can go to programs that have kind of built-in functionality already and one that I often use and really enjoy using is a website known as Canva. So let me just walk over there real quickly to show you how this is done. As I bring up Canva, one of the um, areas that would be really useful for making a banner for Brightspace actually is going to the templates area up at the top, going down to uh, where it says LinkedIn banner. Uh, it's a banner for a LinkedIn page, but um, it still is going to fit perfectly fine for our purposes right here. Uh, let's just pick something simple. Um, I'll go with this one right here. Click on that. I'm going to have the option to use that template. You could modify colors and different things like that, but I'm just going to go ahead and use it as is. And again, it's customizable right here in Canva. If you look at the side, you've got the ability to upload images, choose specific photos. There's a whole gallery of photos that you could choose from. You could add different elements. You can modify the text in different ways. You have all kinds of different functionality. Uh, I'm right now just going to leave it as it is, um, but you'll notice as you're playing with Canva that you know it's pretty simple. You just highlight an area You've got all your controls at the top. You could change the color of the text pretty simply if I want red text instead of yellow text and so on. Okay, I'm just going to go back to the yellow text because it's a little bit brighter. When I'm done modifying it, you know, changing my text, adding photos, changing the background design, anything that I want to do, I will go over to the download button up in the upper right hand corner, hit the download button, and then I want to download it as a PNG, which is suggested. Okay, you could also save it as a JPEG or a different standard format, um, but let's just stick with what they suggest, and I'm going to hit the download button and immediately it's gonna download into my downloads folder and I'm now going to move that over into the folder that I need it to be in. And now I can go back to my Brightspace page and let's just see what the Canva banner looks like. So I'm gonna go up again to banner settings, change image, 
upload. I've got it saved in the same file as before on my computer, so I'm just going to click upload and take a look, and there's the banner that I want. I'm going to open it, add it, and there it is. Now this one was a little bit cut off at the top, which is why you probably want to go into Canva, modify it a little bit to make sure that the text is kind of centered so that you don't accidentally cut off anything from the top or the bottom. But that's a very, very quick and easy way to make a banner if you don't want to use PowerPoint. And that's all there is to it. There are a lot of different ways that you can create banners. If you, you don't have to use PowerPoint, you don't have to use Canva. There are other websites you could use. There are other programs you could use. But you use whatever works best for you and what you're most comfortable with. But if you think this video is helpful for you, then make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything new. And again, thanks for watching.